Kourtney Kardashian has shared sun-kissed snaps taken from her getaway to Cabo San Lucas with boyfriend Travis Barker, mother Kris Jenner, and her partner Corey Gamble. The images, which were posted early Monday, captured the 42-year-old's relaxing morning hanging out by the pool with a shot of espresso. The trip marked the first time Travis, 45, had stepped foot on an airplane after surviving a deadly plane crash nearly 13 years earlier. There was not a soul in sight in her Monday morning snaps. Courtney's Instagram stories gave fans a look at her luxurious beachfront accommodations. From her infinity pool to the oceanside view, Courtney's vacation digs were a sight to behold. Courtney was pictured traveling to Mexico over the weekend with her boyfriend Travis, who has not been on a plane since surviving a 2008 crash that killed four people. Those who perished were his security guard Charles Chase Still, assistant Chris Baker, pilot Sarah Lemon, and co-pilot James Bland. The couple flew to Cabo San Lucas on Courtney's sister Kylie Jenner's Bombardier Global 7500 jet, which contains 22 seats. The Blink-182 drummer seemed a little bit nervous before commencing his first flight in 13 years. A source told D. News, Travis took his time and definitely seemed a little bit nervous. Courtney was very supportive and helped him every step of the way. She made him feel comfortable on Kylie's plane with pilots they know and the large size of the plane. And insiders revealed the drummer's loved ones were excited for him to conquer his fears. The source said, this has been something that Travis has been working on for some time. It's something has wanted to do and to overcome. Courtney has been incredibly loving and supportive and it is through her love, help and confidence in him that he was able to finally do this. The people that have been close to Travis since his crash are so very excited for him. His life has completely changed since he has been with Courtney and he feels ready to do anything. She's helped him overcome this fear and he feels like he can do anything with her by his side. He has been wanting to fly for a while and he felt like finally the time was right. Back in June, Travis shocked his fans when he tweeted that he might ride on an airplane in the future. He tweeted, I might fly again, and his fans quickly launched adoring tweets in support of him returning to the sky. Travis has recently been opening up about the trauma he experienced during his 2008 plane crash. In a May interview with Men's Health, he shared that the crash helped motivate him to stop abusing prescription drugs. People are always like, did you go to rehab? He recounted. And I, say, no, I was in a plane crash. That was my rehab. Lose three of your friends and almost die? That was my wake-up call. If I wasn't in a crash, I would have probably never quit. After the crash, Travis was overcome with a debilitating fear even at the sight of an airplane. I was dark. I couldn't walk down the street. If I saw a plane, in the sky, I was determined it was going to crash, and I just didn't want to see it, he said, adding that he was haunted by the experience of being burned and trying to grab my friends from a burning plane. But he also struck a more hopeful note now that nearly 13 years have passed since the crash. Now it's been so many years, it's getting easier for me. There are days where I'll wake up and never think about it, he said. 